Hi, boys and girls. I'm Mrs. Stanton, your art teacher. And today what we're going to do is a little bit different. Um, we're going to talk about perspective and points of view. And we'll actually have a drawing lesson where you get to fill in some of the perspective objects in the picture. So that should be interesting. So um, at first, the uh, first part of the video, I will explain the basics about perspective, uh, show you some pictures of how it works. And um, the second part, we'll start drawing. So, okay, hold on, and I'll be right back to explain the ideas. Hi. Okay, so you guys have probably heard about perspective, right? It's a big word, and what it really means is your point of view on things. And it involves three dimensions and um, a few other things. So some of the basics about perspective involve a horizon, a horizon line. This is where if you go outside, stand outside on a road or a sidewalk or something, and you look out as far as you can see out there, where the land meets the sky or where the ocean meets the sky is this line, right? It's a line. So that is called the horizon line. Yeah, so this is what perspective involves. It involves seeing things way far back. And um, <clears throat> of course, the earth is round and our eyes are also round. And the way we see, we see with the focus point that focuses out in the distance. And because the earth is round, our eyes are round, and by the way we see, we will see something called a vanishing point. A vanishing point is a point in the distance where all the lines vanish into. So um, you can have one vanishing point or maybe two, sometimes three, which is confusing. <laughs> Um, so vanishing points involve uh, something to, um, <clears throat> to go with them. The idea of the foreground, which is right up here by us, where we're standing really, and the background, which is way far away near that horizon line. So things in the background look smaller and things in the foreground look much bigger, right? It's true. <laughs> so when we have, uh, say, we're standing on a road, where we are, we see this road that's really big. Well, it, near the vanishing point, the road is small it sort of comes into a V back there. Okay, and the trees, if there are trees along the side of the road, the trees are tall near us, but then as we go out in the distance further away, the trees get smaller. And the way we can figure out how to draw that is with a line, one line really from the top of the tree down to the vanishing point. And all the trees along the road will fit under that line. And the same is true if we want to draw a building on the side of a road as well. We can draw, first we can draw a square, and then from every point on that square, we can draw lines to the vanishing point. When we do that, we will start seeing some depth 
in that object. And then we can fill in the back part of it to make it a building. And see how the building now is three-dimensional. Yeah, going back to towards our vanishing point. So this is the beginning of drawing three-dimensional objects and just a different way of viewing. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. And it's something you can practice at home. All you really need is a ruler to help you draw those, um, those lines and a pencil, of course, and some paper. So that's, uh, that's the basics we've got today. And we'll also, uh, so we'll do a drawing in the next um, video set here. And we'll draw some items uh, perspective-wise that will vanish towards the vanishing point. And then after that, we can color it and uh, give it some color and make it look really neat. Okay, so I'll get my easel set up and uh, my ruler, my pencil, my paper, and I'll see you back in just a minute. Are you ready to start drawing? Okay, we'll start some perspective drawings. So what you need for this part is a piece of paper, a white piece of paper, and put it in landscape mode. So the long way here. And you will need a pencil and you'll need a ruler. Okay. So some of the concepts we were talking about with perspective was that horizon line, right? That's where the sky meets the earth or the sky meets the ocean, way far out there as far as you can see. So first of all, we're going to draw a horizon line on our paper. So just like this. There we go. We have a horizon line right there. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we need to decide is something about that vanishing point. So we need to just pick a vanishing point out on the horizon. And um, I'm going to pick one right about here so that we can see things from more of an angle. So my vanishing point will be here. So you pick one on the horizon line, some, somewhere off, off, the, off the middle, a little bit over the side. Okay, and now I want you to draw a road. And the road where you are standing in this picture is right here in the front, right? The foreground. So I want your road to start over here on that side and over here on that side. So kind of a, a pretty big um, wide road. So in order to draw that road vanishing into our point back there, we just take our ruler and draw from that mark to the vanishing point like that. Okay, and then the other side of the road, we do the same thing. We draw from the vanishing point to that mark. Okay, so there we have our road. I'm here. I'm standing right here in front. This is my background part. And I'm, uh, you see how the road diminishes. Okay, it goes towards that vanishing point. So everything is small out here. Everything is big up here, right? That's what we showed in the, pri the prior video clip. So now here's an exercise for you to see if you were paying attention. <laughs> we're going to draw some trees 
I'll draw the first one for you. So I'm just going to draw a tree by the side of the road like this. Okay. Now, how do we draw the rest of the trees along the road? You need to draw that line from the top of the tree down to the vanishing point, right? So let's do that. So here's the top of my tree. Here's my vanishing point. Put a line like that. Okay, now your task is to fill in a couple more trees along that road on this side. So put, put a tree here and put a tree here. So two more trees. And now I want to see how you can fit those in. Okay. So you do that, and after you're done with that, what we're going to do is do that building, the building that I showed you in the prior video clip. So we start off with a square, and we'll just have, or some rectangular shape, and we'll just put it over here. So this is going to be one side of my building, the side that is is closer to me. Now, to draw the rest of the building with perspective, what I do is I draw a line from each of these points of the rectangle to the vanishing point. Okay? So I want you to do that as well. I'm not going to draw it for you. I'm going to let you do that. Okay, so let's see what you come up with. And for extra points, if you get done with that, what we want to do, you can draw yourself standing here. Here I am. I'll just draw a stick figure. Here I am on the road. Now, if I'm walking down this road, how big am I going to be halfway down there? And how big am I going to be down here? So if you can draw that, those are extra bonus points. <laughs> okay, so that's a lot to do right now. So we'll let you get to it. did you do on your uh, perspective drawing? I hope you didn't have any trouble, but if you did, I can help you with that. Let me show you what I did. Okay, let's move it up a little bit closer. There we go. So, yeah, if we're doing perspective drawings, we usually draw like a guideline from the top of the object to the vanishing point. So that's what I did for the trees. My tallest one is in the front and the uh, vanishing point is here. So I drew a line like that. Then I fit in a tree here and a tree here under the line. If you notice, there's, they're small, smaller than this one. This one is smaller than that one. They have to be. Yeah, like the tree trunk is skinnier, for instance. Okay, so on the box, what I did was I drew 
a guideline from this point to the vanishing point, from this point to the vanishing point, and from this point to the vanishing point, because that's all I really needed to get the box shape. Then I drew a line back here, more towards further away. So, and this line is parallel with this one, meaning it, it's like this with that one. And this line is parallel with that one, which means they are the same, same angle, right? So there's my box, okay? Great. <laughs> and then the extra point question was, um, if you could draw yourself as a stick figure all the way back to the vanishing point. So we started with this one, and the top of this stick figure is right there on the top of the head. So I drew a guideline from here to the vanishing point. And then I went down the road a bit, and I put another one here, put a much smaller head, yeah, and then even a really a lot smaller one down there. So you see how small the figures really get when they're way down the road. Okay, great. So in just a second, uh, we're going to talk about color in a 3D view and perspective. Um, so uh, get your, let's see, colored pencils or crayons uh, or even uh, some markers, I guess, would be fine. And go get those and come right back and we'll start on that. Okay. Hi, we're back. I hope hope you have your colored pencils or crayons or markers with you. Okay, so um, when you look out far away, way, way far away, you notice that things look bluer, right? Like, especially uh, if you look far out, far away at the mountains, the mountains look bluer and um, they're, they're a little bit hazier looking. Or if you look far out at the ocean far away, it's really, really blue out there. It looks a little hazy as well. So objects in the background are going to be bluer. So we, we have uh, actually almost a total blue color back here. Total blue. So that's, to start with, that's what we have. Objects in the front are going to show a little more color. This is, um, you know, in the daytime when the sun is out, uh, you're going to see a little bit more um, yellow up front, up front in the foreground. So this, this part, it's, this is dirt. This part will be a little more yellowish. So even, even more yellowish than that. Your trees will be more yellow up front. So these, the tree tops here, or the tree trunk here, is going to be more yellow. Towards the back, it's going to be uh, darker and a little bit more on the bluer side. Because as we move back, things start to get increasingly blue. Okay, so yellow in the front, blue in the back pretty much, if it's a sunny day. If it's cloudy, the color scheme is a little bit different, but that's, that's the general rule. For a building up close, up in the foreground, the colors um, basically are the same way. Yeah, same, obey the same pattern. They're a little more yellow up here and uh, a little bit more on the bluer tones as it, as it um, moves back towards the background. So um, that's uh, the basic rule. Um, I'm going to stop here and let you figure that out on your, um, uh, your drawing. You can start coloring in yellow 
yellow dirt or whatever, greener grass, things like that. And then as you go towards the background, start making it bluer. And same with your trees. Uh, you can also draw yourself that way <laughs> if you wish to. So, okay, I'm going to do that here. And then you do that at home. And I'll meet you back in just a minute. perspective drawing color and colored with darker colors in the back dark and bluish and a little more yellow up front so this is what I did here this is mine um, one thing I forgot to tell you about the sky on a sunny day usually uh, the blue sky the really deep blue will be up more near the top okay so it's going to be more a little bit darker up here and further out towards the horizon it'll be a little bit hazier so it looks hazier right yeah okay so that's kind of the sky thing it's bluer the dirt here is bluer back here it's the same basic color I used only I put some blue on it and then up here, I put some yellow on it. So that makes it look like it's closer to you. So this box here, this is uh, basically because, or building, because it's so short, um, I didn't have to color it too much. Um, so I just kind of left it uh, the way it is. Um, the side here is shadowed and there is a shadow on the dirt from the building the sun is right about up here so the sun is is up there in the sky casting a shadow and you'll see the shadow from the trees from the sun casting a shadow as well so it's casting a shadow here it's it's casting a shadow on the people on the road as well so you can see that on my road, the road is really light up in the front. And um, as you go back, it gets darker and bluer, okay? And the trees, the trees are um, lighter up front, little more uh, greenish, yellowish leaves up front. And then as you go back, it gets a little bit darker and harder to see, of course. And uh, of course, everything kind of gets more of a bluer, bluer tone that far back. Okay, so that's all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. It's, uh, there's a lot to it. There's a lot to learning how to drawing in 3D using perspective. And um, it, it helps you uh, in case you want to start doing a representational type of work that looks uh, more realistic, um, this, this will really help you get there. This will help you draw more realistic objects in three-dimensional space. And, uh, well, I hope you had a good time. I had a good time. See you next time.